Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, I have a pretty tricky problem for you guys. Um, here we have an inverting amplifier circuit with these parallel feedback of R2 and this, uh, this capacitor C. And we're not given any values, no R1, no V in, no V out. Um, all we're given is that R2 is equal to 10 R1 and we're also given that the the input angular frequency is equal to 1 over R2 times C and the problem is asking us to find the absolute value of the voltage gain and I'll tell you now that the answer is real value so looking at this um, try to figure out where you can get things to cancel out everything should cancel out and you should get an actual real value. Um, so give it a shot, uh, pause the video, and let's see if we can get this. So right away you should be able to tell that uh, this being an inverting amplifier that we can use the inverting amplifier gain equation. And so that's V out over V in is equal to uh, before it was minus R2, but now we have R2 in parallel with ZC, and so it's going to be just that, R2 in parallel with ZC divided by R1. And because we want the absolute value, the question's asking for the absolute value, we're just going to put the absolute value here. And if we solve this problem, this this equation here, we're done. Um, it's not as uh, simple as one might think. I mean, if you you have to be really careful with your math. You know, there's going to be a lot of nested um, uh, you know fractions. So if you're careful, um, you should be able to get the the right answer here. And so uh, one of the important things to remember is that ZC always, always, always equals 1 over J omega C. If you don't include the J in here, um, you'll get the wrong answer. And so always make a habit of um, doing the extra work, um, making it complex. Okay, so we have 1 over J omega C and we know what omega is. It's 1 over R2C. And so, very carefully here, J times 1 over R2C multiplied by C, we get um, the, the C's are going to cancel here. And we're going to end up with 1 over J divided by R2. And that simply is going to be R2 divided by J. Okay. And so next we can find this parallel combination of R2 and ZC. R2 in parallel with ZC. And for that you can use the basic um, product over sum rule. So product R2 times ZC is R2 over J. R2 over J. And over product over sum, R2 plus R2 over J. Okay. And now this is starting to get a little bit messier. Um, at this point, I like to to clean up what I already have um, and get rid of some of the nested um, fractions in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the bottom here by J over J. And that will allow me to combine the two bottom terms here. And so when I do that, I get, I'm going to multiply R2 by R2. So I get R2 squared and that's going to be divided by J. And then we'll divide 
divided by um, R2 times J divided by J plus R2 divided by J. And we're going to combine those two into um, R2 plus J R2 divided by J. Okay. And we can simplify that even further um, by doing a, a copy change flip here. R2 squared over j multiplied by j over r2 plus j r2. Okay, and now we can see that we can cancel out these j's here. Those are gone. We can cancel out one of the r, r squares. Those are gone. That's gone. And now this simplifies it a lot more and a lot easier to handle. Uh, maybe you can just easily plug this into your calculator. I know I had a hard time using the, the approved calculators um, to solve this. Um, I know that using my TI-89, I can easily just plug this in and it'll spit out the answer right away. But we are limited in that, in that capacity that we have to use an approved calculator. And um, it, it, it sometimes can be a little tough to, for, for the calculator to handle these types of these types of fractions and, and, and simplify um, these for you. Again, that depends on the calculator that you're using. Um, so here we have R2 divided by, this becomes 1 plus J, all right? That, does, that R2 doesn't go away. And then that is what we get for the parallel combination of R2 and ZC, okay? And I'm going to move over to the next page and we'll continue. Okay, so I've rewritten it here that the parallel combination of R2 and ZC is equal to R2 over 1 plus J. And I also wrote the, the gain equation that we're trying to solve here. And so when we plug in here, um, we can plug in this parallel combination here with the negative, and we get R2, 1 plus J, okay? And that's going to be divided by R1. But recall that we were given that R2 is equal to 10 R1, right? 10 R1. And so... R1 is going to be R2 divided by 10, right? And so we can plug that guy into here. And we'll have another lovely nested loop here, okay, which will be negative R2, 1 plus J over, um, let's see, divided by R2 over 10 absolute value. We can write this nicer. 1 plus j multiplied by 10 over r2. And lovely e. r2's cancel and we get, oh wait this is absolute value, and we get negative 10 over 1 plus j absolute value. And when we plug that into the calculator, we get 5 square root of 2. And that is the answer for the gain for this circuit. So did you get that? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what barriers you guys ran into when trying to solve this. I know one of the issues that I had was um, I dropped the J at the very beginning when calculating ZC. And when I calculated this all out, ended up with an answer of five. And thinking that, you know, I got such a nice even number that it was fine, um, but that indeed is not the right answer. It is five square root of two. So um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Um, if there are any videos you'd like to see, 
um, please let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and until then, enjoy engineering.